Hi, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Two Opinionated, where I've got a really special treat today. I'm joined by the cast, the writer of The Good Things Devils Do. And I want you to meet every one of them. But before we do that, let's welcome back our good friend, frequent guest of the show, The Dead Cards, Mark Roberts. So welcome, Mark. Hey, guys. You don't need to clap for him. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> no respect. <laughs> so yeah, so Mark, this is your I don't know, you half a half a dozen. It's probably time to get you a jacket or something. You've been on enough. Yeah, I probably should. Like a five timers club, something. Can I get a desk down there in your new space? Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Yeah. It'll be tiny like mine, but you can have <laughs> <I don't> care. <laughs> All right. That's what she said. <laughs> so, so let's go around guys and and just introduce yourselves real quick and you know give a just a uh a, a little indication of of what it is that you do and and jess let's start with you i'm a filmmaker uh writer director of the good things devils do um uh you know we, we make movies We're getting ready to launch yeah. into the next one here yeah from, uh, next from what is, i uh, can tell you don't slow down very much <laughs> Well, try not to. I mean, as, as far as in, you know, as, as far as writing the next one and getting the funding for it, yeah, I mean, we try not to. Uh, yeah. We try to make the movies quick. Yeah. I just finished uh, watching uh, this one. I got, I've, I've got some thoughts on it, but I'll hold them for a second. But it was awesome. I'll just tell you. I, sneak sure, sneak sure. peek. It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, absolutely. Veronica. Hi. You next. Hi. Right. Uh, I'm well. Thank you. Um, I'm an actress. I happen to be a writer as well, and uh, somehow got dragged into the producing. And <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was uh, very lucky to be part of this amazing, amazing team. Um, I played Masquerade in The Good Things Devils Do, and um, luckily, I've been staying pretty busy which is, um, which is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. I, I just watched some clips from, uh, the, uh, Braxton thriller. Okay. Yeah. Really good. Really good. Yeah. stuff. Yeah. I Thank liked you. it a lot. Thank um, you. okay. Justin, your turn. Oh, Hey, <laughs> <Center Uh>, Square. <laughs> so, uh, Justin boring, no jokes, please. Uh, <laughs> um, did some uh, poster art and uh, t-shirt art and stuff uh, for the good things devils nice. do. <laughs> yeah. And um, clinked up with uh, Mark Roberts there and uh, hatched the scheme to do uh, some dead cards for the, for the movie. Jesse's my boy. So uh, <laughs> just uh, pitched it to him and, you know, he said, let's do it. I did the first three uh, cards uh, behind Mark there. And uh, we're working on, I think it's seven or eight in total. And we're going to do a few uh, variants, uh, rare cards that uh, we'll offer uh, mysteriously in special packs. And uh, yeah. Is Mark uh, Mark put himself in as the special variant? He has a tendency to do that. I I am a special variant. (laughs) I would like to do that, actually. Uh, He he deserves his own dead card for uh, for crying out loud. (laughs) He does. He does. Yeah, and I was I was telling you before we started that artwork looks amazing. Uh, Oh, thank you, thank you very much. I so good. I love the uh, that old thing. All right, David, let's uh, let's hear from you. Hey, uh, I'm David Rucker the uh, third. I played Melvin in Good Things Devil Do. Very fortunate to work with Jess and these amazing actors and his crew. Uh, can't thank him enough, and I never will stop doing that. Uh, I'm an actor, of course, and a writer and a theater director in Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah, terrific, terrific. All right, Bill, last but not least. Um, I'm Bill Overs Jr. and I do death for a living. <laughs> <laughs> you do. We we have uh, talked about you on this show quite a lot. 
You're in lot. Uh, we uh, were lucky enough to, to talk with uh, Billy Pond. We had him on, and, and he had some really nice things to say about you. And just, uh, yeah, yeah, it's a real pleasure having all of you on the show. So welcome. <laughs> so let, let's start. Let's start here. So, uh, Jess, talk a little bit about you know where the idea uh, for the movie came from. And you know what were the first steps in kind of getting that together and bringing this uh, uh, this great cast together? Because even though we have, you know, such a good representation of the cast, there were several others that that are well known in the genre that were on the film. So it's just you know really nice job putting that together. Well, the idea was that would it hatched as an, actually another film. Uh, one one company came on board. It was a distribution company that that we made a soft commit to. And um, so we went with devils instead of something else that was originally called the incarnate. And uh, it was a, a little scarier of vampire movies. So they wanted to go a little bit more fun. So we did devils and uh, here we are. And so I it was an eighties throwback, um, which the other one was not. So that's, I think why they wanted to do devils. Yeah. Uh, so we decided to get some of the great um, horror icons in the eighties and early nineties. Elena Quigley and Kane Hodder. And we, when we needed the lead character, it was going to be a tough role to play. Um, it was a no-brainer. We had to go to uh, Bill. We had to go to Bill yeah. Overs Jr., um, who was the guy who could really bring this thing home. And uh, uh, the, two, the two critical, I mean, they were all critical, but, but the two that we had to get right were Richard and Melvin. And that's, uh, we have both of them here. And uh, I would even go venture to say the third one that we had to get right, obviously too, but that was an easy cast. When we when we got Veronica in, she was the first, I think one of the first two we auditioned. We had, I think, almost 40 we auditioned, but but it wasn't close. It wasn't close. She got it. It was it was a done deal when I saw her audition. But when we brought in uh, Dave for Melvin and we had Bill for Richard, it was I, I felt pretty comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. I was gonna ask you if it was uh it, it reminded me of an 80s movie. So when you said 80s throwback, I was like, yeah, yeah makes sense. Because yeah. it kind of fit. Uh, it was it was scary and a little a little gory, but it, it was kind of like kind of like the 80s type of uh, scary. You know, right. it, it, was, it, was, it was yeah, really enjoyable. Well, uh, well done. Uh, Veronica, talk a little bit about the makeup because, so, you know, you spent most of the movie of that. Oh my God. Make us fair. Yeah. I think the first day, it took us probably about three hours to get it right. And then we kind of got used to it. And then, you know, it would take about an hour. But yeah, it was, and it was a long time sitting on that chair. <laughs> <laughs> Had to be. <laughs> um, but yeah, all the blood, all the you know, the the nails, the 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 teeth, um, a lot of blood. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of a lot of blood and uh, gore, and I, mm -hmm. I love the name Masquerade for the the vampire. Jess, I wonder, did you ever play the role playing game? You know, there was a role playing game, Vampire the Masquerade. No, uh, this was. <laughs> This, uh, this came from a short film that I did a long time ago um, where there was a, a, a like an 11 year old girl who dressed up as a as a girl from the masquerade so they, they started just saying old masquerade out there and uh, that's that's how it went and so that was going to be the initial play this time too but we decided we decided to go a little older and cast Veronica. yeah 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 good choice I think good choice and and David I, I loved your character because like like the best scene for me with your with your character was close to the beginning when you were just kind of going off on 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 your wife. <laughs> you just kind of losing it when she came downstairs. That was just uh, hilarious. I mean, uh, shout out to Linnea quickly. How 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 lucky does a guy get? He gets to just tell off such an iconic uh, actress, and she was so gracious and. Uh, just wonderful for Jess to sort of let me have that dialogue. The dialogue was beautiful. Uh, so it really let me cut loose on her. So I, I shout out to her and just say, thanks, Jess. It was fun. Always yeah. fun to be a bad guy, as Bill would know. Yeah, I, thought, yeah. I thought Melvin was a good guy. 
he thinks he's a good guy. <laughs> he just misunderstood. He's misunderstood, right? He, he means everybody wants to help the kids. He just really wants to help the kids. <laughs> uh, so, so Bill, every time I see you in a movie, you're getting the crap kicked out of you. So. <laughs> <laughs> So romantic comedy next. You want, you, you want to put my ass in a romantic comedy? I think what? that would fill the theater. I love to invest see. in that. <laughs> That's a dead cards production right there. Right. <laughs> No, so so Bill, talk a little bit about what drew you to the project. You know, what made you want to to kind of step into uh, back into to the horror genre, and you know, what kind of led you to it? Um, Jess, because he's brutal, and I could tell that talking to him, he's very intense, and I'm really, really drawn to intense and mean and vicious, but also very skilled. Um, yes. and he has that intense package. If you can't, if you can't tell. Uh, when you're in a take, if you can't tell if the director is pleased or pissed off just by the energy that they're giving you, then uh, the relationship is not good. But I could tell with him when he was going to want more and yes. uh, when he was pleased just by the energy. It's a real uh, a relationship. You have a relationship with the lens and one with the director. I want to say that David Rucker III is one of the most organic actors that I've yes. ever worked with. Um, he captured this uh, Fright Night, sort of a fun horror yes. yeah. in the beginning of the thing. Uh, one of my favorite scenes is him with the kids. And yeah. then when yeah. it was time for the scary and the action stuff, he really brought it. I enjoyed working with David as much as I've enjoyed working with any actor. I really hope we get to do this yeah. again. And I think <laughs> it was an inspired pairing. I agree. I agree. Thank, thank you, Bill. That that means more than you know. I, I love Bill. I really do. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you said <laughs> Fright Night because it had a Fright Night vibe to it. That That's perfect. And yeah, I, I can totally see it. Are, uh, Jess, are we going to get more movies in this, you know, universe or whatever you want to call it? We're going to get a sequel? Universe is a possibility. There's a possibility. I've been approached by a few uh, potential uh, uh, well, I've been approached by a few people, uh, one producer, a few people with a little bit of money that want to see a Percy standalone. So that's possible. That's possible. We're looking into uh, doing an animation. It's going to be, almost, I, I'd call it almost a proof of concept, a five to 10 minute animation. Uh, so we get to let Kane hang out and uh, just do the voiceover work uh, from, from the comfort of his home yeah. um, and really see if people are ready for a Percy standalone. They say they are, but if they get it, they might not. They might not <laughs> they think they are, because I've got the I've got the entire I've I've got the outline in the script built, and it's, I mean, it's fucking brutal. It's it's yeah. We talk about brutal. It's next level. Yeah, he was he was I thought one of the more frightening parts of the movie. He was the torch bearer to uh, Masquerade, Veronica's Masquerade. Yeah, and he came in here and then he passed the torch to her, and she was able to uh, take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. Oh, uh, uh, Bill, I meant to ask you, and I could be completely wrong, but but the if if I have a superpower, it's remembering obscure roles that people are in. So did you happen to play um, General Sherman in a movie? I did, yes. It was a docudrama for the History Channel. I played Sherman. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Yeah, I was pretty sure, but it was a little different from what I'm used to seeing you. And I was like, I'm I'm probably remembering that wrong. But it's the uh, it's the first thing I ever did on film. I did touring theater for 14 years of my life, and then by accident, I fell into film, and uh, I I had zero experience. I didn't even know not to look at the camera when I did that piece. So the director was really nice to me. Uh, I fell off the horse <laughs> multiple times. <laughs> one of one of these scars is from the horse i have a each scar has a name but um finally what they resorted to because the horse knows if you know what you're do, doing or not 
and the horse yep. just was not. So they had these guys who were playing both the northern and the southern troops. They were all from Pennsylvania. We were in Gettysburg. Finally, they resorted to having the guy who was the horse's owner just underneath the frame. And he was holding another set of reins and I would hold the fake set. And <laughs> <laughs> that is sweet. <laughs> So See, my you shouldn't tell not, people that. You just need to say, yeah, I can ride horses. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Michael, actors say we can do anything. <laughs> anything. Because you're like, uh, role requires proficiency at flying the space shuttle. Well, I can Google that. <laughs> <laughs> and then you realize how much trouble you're in. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. That's exactly right. So, so for, for this film... Did you have stunt actors or, or were you guys mostly doing your own stuff? No, Jess didn't <laughs> give us stunt actors. It was, well, we had we had the king of horror stunt actors because we had Kane Hodder. So yeah. when there was a fight scene, and I think David can vouch for this, um, Kane took care of us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, he'd know. So much so that uh, uh, you know, we we almost we almost lost poor Veronica. She uh uh, Veronica, you can you can tell the story about how you know it was it was it was touch and go there for a little bit. We put her under the the ground in a twenty degree temperature. Oof. with uh, she and Mary, Mary was wearing a a just a, a very thin veiled costume, and my thought the whole thing was between every take we we administered a lot more blood on each uh, on them every time, and uh, and uh, would have to let it congeal and, and coagulate a little bit. It was funny the, you know, because I. I mostly don't remember anything from that night because I, I think my just my mind erased it. But <laughs> I, put it to hell. I, I think I think on one of the takes as I was screaming and growling and Mary was stabbing me. I I, I think I just couldn't breathe. I, I and then next thing I remember I was inside the house and they, they were just giving me <laughs> blankets and hot water and tea and i was like what the hell happened tears were coming out of my eyes i think i had hypothermia or something like that yeah i don't remember i don't remember that that part of you guys taking me from outside to inside i don't remember it <laughs> but, but veronica was so hardcore we, we we had to tell her just just take it easy we're, we're, we're yeah. done here and she was like, were, no, I'm ready for the next yeah. day. She was like, Let's go. Oh, so. Were you filming? Where were you filming? Was it in Pennsylvania? No, uh, Brevard, North Carolina. Was it North Carolina? Was it the, was it the uh, winter? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was in February. Late January. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Shame on me for not knowing that, but I'm, I believe it was yeah, late in February. Yeah, it was, it was very cold, though. Very cold. Yeah, I wouldn't expect that in the Carolinas. Very cold. Uh. Yeah, <laughs> we we even, we even we even took our our star Bill. We we drenched him. We caked him in makeup. Uh, uh, yeah, we all of these all of the actors did well. We 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 were tough on all of them, but boy, they were tough on us too. And they and they yeah. they performed wonderfully. Yeah, yeah. Well, you could tell that. You could tell that. And it seems like just as a cast, you know, I think as a fan, you can you can tell when a cast. Um, doesn't have very good chemistry, but it seemed like this cast, you guys really got along well. Is that is that true, or is that just acting? No, I, I think, if I could speak, I, I think it was very true. Um, I'll say something about the cold. I was very fortunate. I think I stayed outside for <laughs> through the whole production. So my, get my hat is tipped to Bill and Linnea and 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 Veronica and, and everyone else because I was in the house warm. I was doing well, uh, but I I think we all got along. I I spent and going back to Bill many many hours talking to Bill Offset and and just jiving on the whole entertainment industry and all the stuff that actors us poor actors go through and all of this. But um, watching Veronica get all that blood for hours <laughs> old. you know so i i and i i guess i tip my hat to jess most of all for making that uh atmosphere like i said he was clearly the leader you know bill talks about he was the leader and he led us and he led everybody 
Right. And he was the captain. And uh, I think that just worked very well. Worked well for me. And I'm, I'm I, I, thank you, David. And I need to say I had wonderful actors and I also had a wonderful crew. I had mm -hmm. a great DP, a great producer. Um, yeah. I will also say that uh, speaking of all the makeup, you know, we're, we're, we're just going to go a little deeper here. Uh, something that Bill and I had discussed and this is this is close to my heart and i think it i bill i think it is with you too um i i, I think i can say that and, and be accurate and this is a uh, going into nocturnus this is going to be a werewolf film that we're launching into so Ooh. bill we're gonna we're gonna get him real we're gonna we're gonna get him a lot of makeup here in this one he's gonna be he's gonna be put through the rigors but i tell you we're gonna let we're gonna unleash bill bill was we had him a little bit chained up in uh, Devils. It's, it's not going to be not going to be so much in this one. And this this is a dark. It's romantic. A little bit more art house than Devils is. A little more serious, yeah. but yeah. it is absolutely savage, absolutely brutal. And uh, I think we're gonna we're gonna unchain Bill. And I would love to see Bill and David back on the same screen. And I would love yeah. to. Veronica knows how I feel about her. I'm I I absolutely love her. I, I love all the actors that were on the thing. Yeah, Veronica, you could play you could play a werewolf. You might as well just hit all of the you know, the the monsters. <laughs> we I was just talking with a group of actors about how there hasn't been many good werewolf movies in in the last couple of decades at least. So that's perfect that yeah. you're coming out with that. Yeah. Yeah. Have you uh, considered uh, Mark as a werewolf? <laughs> we have we have we have us down between mark and bill these are the, these are the finals it has to do with all the hair so it is i mean i love bill but if i gotta choose i'm choosing mark to see in a werewolf movie come on <laughs> one thing we talked about is the relationship between actors and uh, uh directors and actors is 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 you know i've discussed this personally with bill is just the fact of, of letting, just letting a great actor loose. And uh, I think that's probably what I'm, what I'm, what I'm excited about with this is, is, is letting him see what he can do with this character. It's a, um, it's a pretty unique character that this one's going to be, but, but it's, it's going to be fun stuff. Yeah. That's exciting. So, so you haven't started all, all filming are. though, right? Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. 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 We're still a ways off, but that's it. That's super exciting. Right. Yeah. That's, that's great. So, so you mentioned doing, um, a little animated piece mm -hmm. to, to kind of go with, uh, with this film. What, what made you choose that route? The fact that, that the Percy character will turn so many people off. And a lot of people love him. A lot of people love yeah. him, but uh, he will turn so many people off into, in, into, into really sit down and dedicate an hour and a half into a film. I, I, I would like to see if, if, if this animation, this is going to be, this is going to get clearly who he is across. Uh, yeah. uh, if you didn't already know. Um, but uh, if it's successful and we have either shocked or, or anger, I mean, I, I don't care if they hate it and they're, you know, they, they throw things at the screen and they, they say we're awful people. That's fine too. That, that's just as good as, as, as people like it. But uh, it really is just a gauge to see if, if, if people, you know, would actually yeah. watch an hour and a half of Percy. Yeah, no, it makes uh, that makes sense. So, so how did you guys get connected with the dead cards? How that you want to tell that story, Mark? I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was uh, I kind of got connected through Justin, and we kind of got connected through just hanging out on Billy Pond's site. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, you know, it's kind of started from there, and. Of course, I started seeing his art, and we just kind of, I think, if he wasn't lying to me, I think we kind of liked each other's stuff. <laughs> but, you know, his his art's fantastic, so, you know, I got with him. I was like, man, it's, you know, we need to do something, and then he kind of got me introduced with Jess, and, you know, for those guys, unfortunately for them, it's just been downhill <laughs> since I came on, but, I mean, but it's been fun. And, uh, you know, just, just kind of, just kind of a chain reaction, I think. Yeah. Uh, you know, just kind of hang out in the right place at the right time for me. I don't know about them, but yeah. but yeah, I mean, Justin's art is fantastic. You know, his, 
choice of colors. And everything. Yeah, it really is. Just I was going to ask you, you know, do you have artists that you're inspired by or that you're drawing on? You know, where did you come up with that style? Oh, yeah. Well, I was uh, still am a comic book artist uh, for many years. Yeah. And um, that that's sort of my roots. But uh, I was brought up on Mike Mignola, uh, Hellboy. Yeah. Um, Bernie Wrightson, of course, the old Tales from the Crypt, uh, Haunt, uh, Vault of Horror, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Um, so those are my, and Joe Kubert. I went to the Joe Kubert Art School. Um, and uh, that's that's where I really got into comics and, and sort of developed my style. And um, yeah, I, I actually, Mark had approached me through uh, uh, Billy Pond's uh, Facebook page because I had painted some uh, some stuff for him. I did uh, Bill Obrist Jr. as uh, Papa Corn the Crown, my favorite, favorite. I've seen that. I've seen that. Yeah, Circus yeah. of the yeah, Dead. Yeah. Great movie. It's um, kind of hard to see this because of my green screen, but. Yeah. yeah nice. <laughs> so I got I got the patch from uh, from Billy. Yeah, yeah. And I I, uh, I did a couple uh, for him. We're hoping to do more. Um, but I love painting uh, Bill Obris Jr., man. I, I just I painted a, a poster originally uh, for the Devils. And I did the uh, opening illustration sequence yeah. uh, at the beginning of the film. And that was a lot of fun. Um, that was a lot of fun to watch. You know, that's that's what it immediately I was like, well, this is kind of like going to the movies in the 80s, you know, from that opening sequence. That, that was excellent. Well, Jesse uh, and I both, I mean, I've known him for, what, 35 years, <laughs> uh, yes. if he'll admit to that. And, um, well, you know, we both uh, come from that school, that old school of uh, 80s horror, you know, and, and uh he had a real creep show thing going um, for that. And I was like, Oh man, you know, we should, we should, <laughs> we should uh, do some opening illustrations and stuff. And he, he loved that idea and uh, they turned out really well. I was, I was uh, yeah very pleased with that. And um, then when I clinked up with Mark there, uh, you know, had this aha moment, I was like, ah, oh, I was like, we should really do some dead cards for this. You know, it'd be a great, I loved all the characters. I loved painting uh, Veronica and Bill, of course. And um, uh, actually the original poster, Jess, uh, that we we were working on had everybody in it. And uh, it was pretty cool, but it was a little jammed up. So we had to, we had to pull some people out of it. But uh, yeah, I, that's sort of what set us on the path to the, yeah. to the dead cards. And it was the perfect palette for it, so. Yeah, 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 no, they're 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 so good. It's got a um, kind of reminds me of, of some of the artwork they did on I Zombie. Oh little, yes, yes. Bit. See that just a just a little. I uh, it, it's just it's really well done. You know, Thank what you. do you guys think of of the the cards? You know, to me, yeah, uh, I've done a lot of the comic book conventions, and and to me, having something smaller than you know, an eight by 10 photo that you got to kind of log around with you, carry around with you so much better. I say that's part of the reason I like the dead card so much because it's, you know, you get this great piece of art that's different that you can take and have, uh, you know, the people you're fans of sign. But I was curious what you guys thought of it. I love the idea when it's pitched to me um, and I love working with Mark. Uh, you know, Justin had told me about Mark. He had said, uh, "This is this is this is kind of coming in with an intellectual property that is the dead cards." Uh, he's expanding now, just from things like Walking Dead and, and into uh, some more independent horror films, yeah. uh, some licensing. I, I, so I said, "Let's do it, man. Let's do it." And um, we've got three down. Uh, uh, we're we're getting all of them coming in. David still is not here yet. Veronica still is not here yet. Uh, but we've got uh, we've got their cards are coming. Well, yeah, David and, uh, drops uh, next week, I think. Ooh. Uh, hey, yeah, yeah, looking forward to that. And um, yeah, I mean, he's been a, he's been nothing but a joy to work with. He's total professional. If he tells you something's going to get done, it gets done. Yeah, I'm like Justin. I'm, I'm <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm an artist, man. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's 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 really great. Yeah, I, I love uh, love what Mark does. What what he does, it it 
to me, it, those cards would go perfect if you you know you don't do DVDs much anymore. But if you did DVDs, and you could slide one of those cards in that and sell, you know, sell packages. Yeah. Of those. I, I think that'd be a neat little uh, surprise when you when you opened up the DVD. Yeah, man. Get, get different yeah. collectibles out there, horror collectibles out there. We're, <laughs> we're glad they partnered with us, man. We're, we're, we're totally glad. And that's funny. Uh, that's funny. You mentioned in Michael that uh, people you know, lugging these posters and eight by tens around. I've been getting yeah. a lot of uh, response on uh, social media about, you know, this, this small thing, you kind of get it signed and you yeah. collect them all and it's, you, know, you display them. And so I think the, the packaging of it is really uh, a selling point and, and cards are coming back in a big way. You know? Yeah, they are. And, and nobody's ever really done something like that for horror. I mean, there's been some, but uh, you know, that's, trying to bring it back yeah no yeah i think it's such a terrific idea so i wanted to ask you guys about the the end of the movie i don't want to give too much away but you know you've got a, a pretty epic fight scene there at the uh the end and tell me a little bit about that you know how hard was that to film you know what uh, what issues did you run into and just you know how did you uh, get that uh, recorded well, there were there were a few in there. Um, one one of the ones that wasn't at the end in the middle that that, that, that Bill had alluded to. We had Kane Hodder, which was great, yeah. and uh, he took care of everybody. Uh, we just chore <clears throat> there wasn't a whole lot of choreographing that, that, that went on, but it was they just we just let the actors do what they they needed to do, and we put the cameras in different places and chopped it up and cut it up on the editing floor. Same with the end. The end was more of um, I would say. Uh, what is it, a psychological battle and uh it dealt with a lot of with uh bill playing richard and his his mary catherine o'donnell who played his daughter mouse yeah. um against each other and masquerade orchestrating that and we had a lot of things tied onto the chairs so when masquerade threw the chairs out of the way you know people off the screen pulled them out uh, <laughs> and we had uh you know david basically doing a chin up on the bar at one point um <laughs> and uh you know, uh, we we did some CGI with a knife. We there was almost no CGI in this movie, but we had to at one point when Mary stabs Bill in the eye, and yeah, um, yeah we we just did normal standard reverses and things like that. You know, just a lot of technical things, but it was it was easy. We had good actors who got to hit their spots, hit their marks, and 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 did the job quick, so we didn't have to waste too much time. Yeah, well, and that's probably important, especially if you're you know, all made up in a, in a ton of makeup. You want to get that yeah. done as quick as you yeah. can. Yeah. When, when, when we were, when we were shooting Bill and Mouse at the end, the, the crew was cleaning up and, and we literally had people pouring buckets of blood. Uh, and, and I think everyone was cranky at that time, but, but it, it, it <laughs> <all> right. <laughs> did uh, Veronica, did you get to keep the costume? No, I wanted to, and they wouldn't let me. Yeah, that's a Halloween costume for the rest of your life. <laughs> we had a few dresses, and I think I was, I think I was gonna ask them to keep one, and I never did. It was I remember that last night we shot. It was such a, it was such a late night. I just wanted to go home and sleep, and then <laughs> maybe Jen can send me that dress. Send me the yeah. dress. I'm wondering, you said you reminded me that there are three dresses. I'm wondering where the other two are. I don't even know if <laughs> David, did you take those? No, I did take the sweater, though. I did take one oh, sweater. Oh, yeah. That sweater was awesome. <laughs> yeah. So, there was like three of them. I hear Sorry, David. <laughs> Kelly, Kelly <laughs> made that sweater. I, I got to give a job. Kelly, Kelly's on a shoot right now, but uh, she was able to make it. But as uh, she sends her regards, but yeah, she uh, she made the sweater. She did a really good job. Yeah, yeah, she did a good job. She she did really good uh, in the uh, in the movie. She was she was re really good. You had such a great cast. You know, even the smaller roles. I was I was curious. You know, where did you get the kids from? Were they were they actors or are they related to somebody in the film? Where did you get those from? Kelly's son and the producer's daughter. Yeah, I kind of felt like that maybe because because they acted like they've been around it a little bit. You know, mm -hmm. they they seemed That's to right. know know what they were doing. That very, uh, very the the one scene where the the boy saying, "Can I borrow? Do you have a phone? I got to call my mom." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was uh, uh, 
kind of uh, dark humor, I guess, but it was a, right. it was a funny line. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Yeah, they were very talented, both very talented uh, uh, actors. Yeah. Yeah, they did a really, uh, a really great uh, job. So what was what was the the most difficult thing that you, you had to deal with on the set? Was it the weather? Time. No, Just time. no, time. Time, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we had, what, 12 days to shoot it, I think. Uh, and it's uh, fast. It was real fast. Um, thank God for the actors because it was time. We had to, we, we had to get one, two, three takes and, and move on. And yes. uh, uh, we were just up against it, man. And we had a lot of practical effects. So yes. it, was, it was squeezing it all in. Yeah, that's a lot. Bill, are you used to working on a, a, a schedule that, that is that fast or is that faster than normal? I don't remember how many days we took, but it's rare now. It used to be 21 day shoots were average, yeah. but now really 14 is more like yeah. your average. So yeah, it's like going to war. You know, once you start it, you can't back up. Yeah, You have to go forward. And the people whose movies fail are the people who have not storyboarded, planned right. out their shots. And the worst sin of all, if at the beginning of the day, there's not a shot list, I don't mean a scene list, I mean a shot list. Yeah. If you don't have that, you're not going to make your day and you fall off. I've, I've worked those movies and most of them end up just sitting on people's computers forever. Wow. That's too bad. Yeah. So what happens if, if you schedule it for 12 days, what happens if you don't finish it and you got to go to a 13th or 14th? It just, it just happened to me. Not on yeah. this shoot. I'm, I am, I apologize for my backdrop. This is a uh, lovely shower curtain in Vancouver. <laughs> But it just happened to be on a movie I shot in Atlanta. They didn't finish um, because we had, okay, I won't bitch. Hey, put it just a little bit. <laughs> Guys, girls, if you're making a movie and you got some really important stuff happening, especially at the end of the movie, shoot that shit first, okay? Yeah. Don't go interior for cars. Don't do stuff that you don't have to have but if you got somebody's head exploding shoot the head exploding <laughs> in, invariably people the more inexperienced they are the more they want to shoot linearly in order yeah and well this happens so we'll just get this at the end of the night and it's already 3 a.m and i know and the other actors who have worked a lot of shoots are looking at each other going this ain't gonna happen this ain't gonna happen and sure enough, we're losing the light. We're losing the light. We can't get the shot. This did not happen on Jess's movie. But so that's what happens is you end yeah. up with a movie with either not enough to finish it, or if you can finish it, the ending is crappy because you didn't shoot the ending first. Like a fight scene. Jess took his time on the climax of this movie, the big masquerade thing. Yeah. We spent a lot of time on it. You know, for an indie film, we spent a lot of time. Sure. But that's because to make a scene like that work, you've got to have a lot of inserts, a lot of little details. Right. So it's very, you know, it's if you don't get your coverage, I hear people saying, well, we'll pick it up later. You ain't gonna pick up nothing later, man. You ain't gonna pick up <laughs> nothing. That did happen to us, Bill. We uh, uh there was a scene that was supposed to cut out to the exterior of the, you know, late at night where the car is sitting there and you can hear the parents calling out for Danny. We didn't get that, and that and that, that really disappointed me. And you, um, but you, but in the end, you didn't have to have it. I would have liked it. I'm still bitter about it. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Oh, I'm so pissed about it, Bill. This <laughs> business is all so about, about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. There was Nova on the. Uh, there was Nova on the. Uh, uh, there was Nova on the folder we didn't get to. That uh, you know, that I was like, Jesus Christ, you know, that would have that would have indicated that you know about about the wrong address, but um. It is what it is, man. But Bill's exactly right. You get yeah. that or you suffer later or you suffer later. And here we were with Bill and Mouse. And I was talking about there were some cranky people in there. And I, 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 in the fog of production, I'd forgotten our high speed shot. So I said, I said, guys, get back down there. We got to over crank the camera. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And we're like, why are we needing over cranking? And I'm like, <laughs> we need to there's no time to question it right now. And we see at the end when Bill's picking up the bat and the bat's bloody and it's, you know, yeah. uh, squeak, squeak, motherfucker. Um, and it was, she's reaching out to him and he's looking at her and there's blood dripping off of her mouth. 
you know, that's why we overcrank it. It was the psychology of the father and the daughter. So, um, and I damn near forgot that. And so when we're cleaning up, we had Bill and Mouse <laughs> jump back and poured blood on him and let's go, let's go, let's go. So it's crazy. Well, at least you remembered. Right, right. <laughs> That'd have been bad if you got, you know, you're getting ready to go to sleep at night. Then it hits you. Yeah. We got yeah. all the shots, but I, Bill was talking about inserts. And I was thinking, you know, we, we need these. And, and I, it was at that moment, me being a rookie feature filmmaker, you know, and I worked on a lot of features before, but as a writer director, and I was just sitting here thinking, they're all going to hate me. It's going to be easier just to not say anything, but they're just going to have to hate me. We got to do it. We got to go. We got to go. Yeah. Gotta get well, as, as actors, you guys, are, you're used to that though, right? I mean, what you want is somebody that you can tell knows what they're doing even if they're kind of pushing you, I would think that would be better than having somebody that you're not confident in. Yes. Yeah. 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 David came um, back for an extra day. Uh, uh, Veronica stayed an extra day, you know? So, so, you know, there were parts of it where we did spill over. We kept it contained in the amount of days that we needed to, but, but we spilled over in some areas. We were lucky to have, you know, the people we did and giving the time they did. Yeah, I just can't, I can't believe that you shot a film in 12 days. That's, that's, I can't do anything in 12 days. We, we, we had a good crew. We had good actors and a good yeah. crew. Yeah, I, I mean, that's was, really impressive. That's really yeah. impressive. Yeah. Um, so talk a little bit about the, the, the vampire and, you know, where did you come up with kind of the lore and, and the history and, and. You know, was there was there something, you know, you talked a little bit earlier about you, you were drawing from something. Talk a little bit about that. Well, the vampire was was it, it started off in a certain way and then it just it became organic. And then and then Veronica took it over. Um, it was more from, again, the first vampire film incarnate that we did not do <clears throat> and uh, which were very American Gothic um, yeah. based off of Salem's Lot vampires. And so. So then we made this beautiful backstory that never made it in the movie. And uh, uh, where she was this dancer who came from the theater of the Dan, you know, the theater of the doomed, I can't remember what the hell it was called. Yeah. And uh, the theater pot or whatever the fuck it was. And so we had a really nice backstory, but, and, and a lot of people say, did we get it from like the evil dead? No, no, is she, I, I see where they, they said that because she's covered in blood and she does look right. like that one act. The Evil Dead remake, but not at all. It's just she was just a very gothic type of vampire. The hand yeah. coming out of the mouth and it got drenched in blood, so she kind of looked like that. But uh, <laughs> no, it, it was a uh, it was pretty pretty simple. Yeah, pretty simple. she's a scary vampire. Yeah, yeah. And I'd be remiss to say to say if I didn't say this because I know we're, we're wrapping up. I, I I know that our our artist. I, I've already talked a little bit about Nocturnus and. Uh, where Bill knows I'm coming to him. Bill knows, and I know that Bill's got his schedules and we're going to have to coordinate. Um, we've talked about this. I think uh, I, 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 want to, I want to give Bill a beautiful piece for him to work with. And, um, yeah. But beyond Nocturnus and, and the other actors, even, even here, uh, 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 David, Veronica, Kelly, uh, uh, they know. They know that I, they're, they're some of my go-tos too. Um, yeah. But uh, Justin... Uh, it's interesting that he approached me and uh, we got to give this some love too. He approached me and he had this really wonky idea. He was like, listen, I'm writing something. I want you to take a look at it. And I would love for you to come on and, and, and be a for hire director. And I was like, ah, you know, well, if it's Justin, but he had Justin's agree. He's, he's this wildly creative guy. Okay, cool. Let's look at it. And I read it and I'm not going to say anything about it yet. Um, but I got to tell you, surprise me really damn good. So Justin, you want to talk about it? Yeah, I was going to say, Justin, spill the beans. Let's hear all about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, let me say thank you. I'm honored. I've read a lot of uh, Justin's stuff and to to have that praise from Caesar is, uh, <laughs> is really <laughs> warming. And um, yeah, actually, um, a friend of mine, uh, Steve Hansen, um, has this character that he's been dressing up uh, as for years, going to conventions and stuff. Um, you know, it's 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 the burlap sack and the uh, stitched eyes and mouth and uh, uh, you know uh, utility uniform. And I saw the pictures from the con. I was like, dude, that I love that man. Is, is this something you're developing or what? He's like, 
no, I just think it's cool to dress up as and go to conventions. <laughs> and I was like, man, you gotta, I was like, you gotta do something with that. I said, I'll tell you what, let me, let me paint a, a, a mock movie poster for it just for fun. And, you know, you can take it con to conventions and stuff and hand it around. And so I started drawing it and painting it. And I, I really didn't get that far before he was like, bro, I love this. This is great. <laughs> and I was like, well, I said, let's, let's talk. I said, are you interested in making, you know, making this into something developing? He's like, oh yeah, definitely. So um, I said, all right, well, let's start. I said, what's the name of the character? And he says, well, it doesn't really have a name. And I said, okay. So then the name is nameless. <laughs> and he's like, oh yeah, I really like that. So uh, that's the character nameless. And um, I've written the outright outline, which uh, Jess read and uh, seemed to really like. And uh, I yes. actually wrote a character specifically for Bill Oberus Jr. Um, so <laughs> we'll see if he's interested in that at some point, but uh, he's definitely who I had in mind uh, when writing the character. And, and I'm just such a huge fan of, uh, of Bill and um, followed all his work. Uh, but uh, another friend, uh, Tracy Allen, who's a very, very dear friend of mine, uh, you know, I was telling her about it and she's like, oh, that's, this is great. I got some great ideas. So uh, she and I were riffing uh, quite a bit yeah. um, doing the outline and, and everything. And she's like, oh, yeah, I really think, uh, you know, uh, this dialogue here, Bill would like that. And and uh, <laughs> and this not so much. <laughs> so um, she's you know, uh, helped me a, a lot there. And, um, I'm you really gotta excited. have a sounding board. You gotta have that. Oh yeah. And, and I mean, I, I've hoped that's why I brought Jess in, you know, cause I really value, uh, his, uh, expertise. And, um, I, I really wanted him directing this, uh, because after devils, uh, you know, I was blown away with the cinematography, the lighting, everything. It was, it, it, yeah, it was really right was. there, you know, and, um, yeah, so we're we're developing it. Uh, I'm writing the screenplay now. Jess is helping. Tracy's helping. Um, yeah, we're gonna just try and make it happen. You know. So when I first so heard about it, when I first heard about it, I wasn't crazy about it because I was like, yeah, you know, the slasher thing is all played out. Uh, but when uh, when I read his outline and really really listened to it, I gotta tell you, it's 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 wonderfully funny. It's smart. That's it's great. intelligently written. Um, it's compact. It's a uh, it it it. It's, it's got it's got some it's got a QU it's got a quintessential uniqueness it's very different yeah uh, it was not at all what I expected and I was uh, I was thrilled thank you thank you I appreciate that so if if Bill turns it down it goes <laughs> no to pressure Mark. Is, that, is that what I'm hearing that's the default <laughs> Mark is nameless that's what he, that's what we need he's the understudy actually no. Uh, Steve Hansen is going to be nameless um, because, I mean, he's like six, seven. He's this, you know, really, uh, really big presence. You need a burly guy. Oh, yeah. I can't pull that off. I'm sorry. But Bill's uh, the character I wrote for uh, with Bill in mind um, is a, a serial killer um, artist. <laughs> um, <laughs> not that that comes from anywhere up here. but I was going to say, uh, <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute <laughs> but he's a serial killer artist this infamous uh serial killer artist he's irish he's got this great uh irish brogue and all these tattoos and stuff and uh it, it's it's a really fun character and I, I think it's uh really meaty good to sink your teeth into and like jess was saying um there is a slasher component to it that i mean we wanted that we were going for that um, yes. But the other half of it is uh, is a really unique uh, component that I'm not going to give away. <laughs> no, you have to come back for that. When oh, yeah. Is, oh, yeah. When you can spill the secrets. That's absolutely. Well, uh, this this has been a, a blast. This I love this movie so much. Um, this was one and, and I'm not. Yeah, you know, I get scared really easy. You know, I'm, I'm a chicken. I'm a chicken. But but and and this one had me kind of kind of on the edge of the seat. But I did okay. I did okay. It was it was so good and compelling. It it kept me there. So where normally I would have you know fast forwarded and you know found other things to do other than watch the screen. So it's really well done. 
Um, before I let you guys go, though, I want to go around and, and make sure that, that I've hit on everything or anything that you have upcoming, you know, uh, where we can find you on social media, all that stuff. So, so let me go around and David, let's start with you. You know, is there any projects we can keep an eye out uh, for you in upcoming and where can we find you on social media? Oh God, social media. Um, <laughs> I think I'm on there. Uh, you know, the standards, I guess, what Facebook and Instagram, Twitter and all of that. Usually I go by D, D Rucker part three. Uh, so that might help you a little bit. D Rucker part three uh, or David Rucker part three. Um, right now, uh, I'm, I'm actually going to shoot a film in a few weeks called Two Wrongs Two. So that should be kind of interesting. <laughs> So this sort of uh, uh, empire esque, you yeah. know, it's an empire empire esque film, and uh, so that should be fun. Uh, doing some theater still. I uh, was actually cast in Hamlet here in Atlanta. Oh, nice! Uh, so we'll do that hopefully in September. So uh, those are the things I'm working on. Uh, uh, also waiting on some other thing. You know, you audition and you wait and all that kind of good stuff. Yeah. So. Are you auditioning remotely still? Uh, yeah, that, that will continue, I'm sure, uh, yeah. for some time. And I don't think that's just all COVID. That's just the nature of the business now. Yeah. Uh, yes. Because passing directors, they don't want to see you. They ain't got time to see 200 people and all this kind of stuff. And So that will continue. And that's fine with me because I can do more stuff. Yeah, like the, uh, the Fright Night remake of, you know, of the remake. Yeah, they remade what, it once, but I wasn't too, I didn't like the remake as well as I like the original. So well, when if, if anybody's buying, I'm flying. So it's all <laughs> right. Let's get in there. Now I really enjoyed you in this, David. That uh, thank, thank you, you so much, much for coming on. Yeah, it was, thank you for having me. Yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun watching the watching the emotions go across your face as that movie went on. <laughs> well, well, Melvin was a fun guy to play, that's for sure. Yeah, a fun guy to play. Yeah, David, really good. Artist job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. more dialogue than anybody yeah it was really well done so so veronica you know anything upcoming and where can we find you on social media oh social media uh facebook and instagram everyone hates uh uh my name on instagram i don't care it is pretty long it is veronica with a k v stoikova and uh pretty long i told you and uh, <laughs> i found you on there though you I just did. kept typing. I just kept typing, and it eventually came up. Yeah, yeah, it will. <laughs> and I, there are a couple projects that I um, I shot in the beginning of the year. So yeah. one of them is coming out in August, and it is called um, Under a Bad Moon. So that one is a psychological thriller drama, I would yeah. say. Yeah. And um, uh, the second one is called Guero and Prieto. Uh, which means black and white in, um, in Spanish, I believe, and um, or black and brown, um, something like that. And um, and that is a coming of age uh, immigrational immigration drama that uh, we shot with uh, 150 by Warner in February, and that should come out um, by the end of the year. Um, I'm working on a project up in New York next month, which is again um, drama. Um, yes. That is called um, Dope King, and I'm also working on a project of mine, which is very, very close to, to my heart. Uh, it is uh, something that I wrote, and it's dedicated to my grandma. So I'm flying to Europe in August to start nice. uh, to get the team that I want because it's been so hard to get it from here. So I have to fly and um, and uh, and yeah, and start on that. Yeah, that's awesome. Where uh, where in Europe are you? Uh, um, I was born and raised in Bulgaria, so I it is uh, we wrote it in Bulgarian. We're gonna film it in Bulgaria. We want to use Bulgarian actors. Um, that's awesome. But I'll have to do it there. I can't do it from here. It's too much work. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's terrific. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, uh, Bill. What do you have upcoming? People are sick of me, so I want to use my time to praise Justin Boring. <laughs> I'm serious. So this this is what I want to say. One, I want to apologize to Justin because he wanted to mail me some dead cards, 
but I'm traveling from place to place yes. and I couldn't get them in time. I stay off the grid when I'm shooting. So Justin, I'm sorry. If I had them, I would hold them up. <laughs> Justin is like the artist that I grew up with. I grew up in the era of the reprints of the ECs. So yes. Jack Davis, the EC artist. Oh, then yes. I got into Bernie Wrights and um, of course, Basil Gogos, so all of the famous monsters covers. Yeah. If there's any artist that represents that tradition in horror, I believe it's Justin Boring. I want his work to be seen widely and I want it to be seen not just digitally, Michael. There's something <laughs> yeah. about physical media you can hold in your hand. That's what I love about these dead yeah. cards is yeah. that it's something you For can sure. hold. Uh, when I got my copy of Famous Monsters, I treasured it, man. I flip the pages. Yeah. I, I, I slept with it. I pull them out. I still have some yeah. of them. And so these dead cards That's are great. in that tradition. And I hope fans are really going to like them. And I look forward to working with Justin on more things. I want to do some sort of uh, Bill Obers Jr. Presents project in physical media with him. Um, Love he's that. the only he's the only person who's ever drawn my face where I don't look like Jimmy Durante. Oh yeah. come on! <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, really, I... all, all praise to this man, and I hope horror artists check out his work. Thank you so much, Bill. I really appreciate that. And I just got your email this morning, so I'll uh, <laughs> I'll uh, respond to that. And no worries. And there's not a face I enjoy painting more than yours, my friend. <laughs> You're sick. <laughs> well, if that's sick, I don't want to be well. <laughs> no, that's, that's terrific. Bill, are you on social media? Can we find you on there? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you want to give us a hint? or? <laughs> well, I'm, Bill, I'm for very predictable. I'm Bill Burst Jr. everywhere. I'm yes. always nice. Every comment is liked, no matter what people say, because I feel bad. If I like one person's comment, I have to like everybody. Right. So That's it's right. all very nice, and everybody gets liked, and everybody's friendly and encouraging. Very unlike <laughs> the stuff that I'm going to do in Chess Nervous Guard's next movie. Ooh, yeah, I know. I know. It's the really good stuff. <laughs> Bill just made us all insecure now. He's just made us all insecure now because when we thought he liked us, now he might not. That's right. <laughs> but aren't you guys that way? How do you like one comment? And no, you like don't want to show favoritism. You got to like everybody. Yeah. So then what's the point of liking? Yeah. There is none. It's all bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it kind of is. It kind of is. It's all self aggrandizing, pat on the back bullshit is what it is. Amen. <laughs> I want to get my like though. If I don't get them, I'm coming back. Hey, what's 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 wrong? Exactly. Like well, that. Man, this doesn't get said enough, man. Well, we have everyone here. This does not get said enough. David Rucker has worked so hard. Uh, and, and, and Bill, back me up here. Did he not have the hardest? Probably, probably the hardest job on Devils. He had such a no way bucket <laughs> of, of dialogue. He was almost in every damn scene. In oh the yes, house. he did, back and he had a lot of. He had a lot of um, of changes too, like from the nice, friendly, "Hey, I'm Melvin" guy yes. to the, you know, really being awful to his wife, then to possibly having these dark intentions at the end. Right. Yeah, David had a hard right. job. Yeah. He lifted every ounce of it. Boy, didn't he? He did. He. Yeah, Wonderful. That's, that is so not true, but but thank you. So. <laughs> that's true. It came across. Well, you know what? I I, I agree. I will work with Jess. I mean, anytime, anywhere. There's I've worked with a good enough number of directors to know who knows what they're doing and who doesn't. So again, my that's always to the guest. And of you course, guys say like I knew what I was doing. You know, and I and I do want to piggyback on what Bill said about Mark and Justin. Mm -hmm. Uh, because thank you guys so much because I forgot to say that. Thank you for these these cards, this artwork. Mm -hmm. I mean, I I I'm I can't wait to see the card. I'm a little little selfish. I just can't wait to see it because I'm going to show it all. So. Hey, so, hey, nice. Tell them hurry up. My pleasure. I know, right? Yeah, just every slow. day. He's so slow. <laughs> well, you can't rush perfection. Come on now. Yeah. I want to make want to make sure everybody's got a got a good card, man. That's right. You gotta have a good card. Uh, Justin, where can we find you on social media? I'm at uh, Justin Bourne, B O U R N E, Boring, B O R I N G, uh, on Facebook. I'm on uh, Twitter, Instagram, all the others. That's Jaywer Boy, J W E R E B O I. 
and that's just gibberish I had typed into the, uh, the computer. So that's why that's that. <laughs> but um, yeah, thanks again. I really appreciate it. And thank you, Bill and, and David, so much. That means a lot to me. Um, I've, I've really enjoyed uh, doing these cards. I, I hope I do you guys justice. And uh, Bill, I'm going to be painting you so much more. I mean, come on, man. <laughs> I'm the werewolf version of you soon. And, and, oh, and I can't wait for that. Yeah, that's it, isn't it isn't it how sweet Veronica is? And then looking I at her. No, I know. It's so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, she was method, and and when I talked to her, she was, she was she was bitching me on set, which which I appreciated. And when she was finally done, she walked through, and I was like, "Now who the hell is this walking through?" And are you set? gonna recognize me? Because like, who's the new girl on set? I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I was like, "Oh shit, that's my story. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> so so Jess. Uh, you talked a little bit about the one project, anything else coming up and you know, where can we find you on social media? Facebook. Oh, I, I'm terrible at social media, man. Uh, Facebook, Twitter. I think I have an Instagram that I never use. Um, <laughs> people keep I'm gonna try to use it. Love it. Uh, I was going to answer for you, Jess. Uh, <laughs> Half life. So the three, four projects in the can or I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm attached to nameless now and I'm glad I am. Uh, it's going to be badass. Yeah. Nocturnus is uh, coming down the pike. Percy animation is the proof of concept to see if we're going to launch into it. But there's something called Half-Life 2. I'm not going to say too much about it. Half-Life is uh, is just stellar. And and, and as I'm, I'm developing this thing, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to, to, to love it wildly. But um, yeah. we've got a, I, I don't want to say too much about the group, but we've got a group coming in in about 30, 45 days that are talking about collab collaborating and going walking right into producing uh the next one whether it be nocturnus or 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 whatever but but they're eyeing nocturnus so we've got two people kind of looking at producing that and so getting the money for it and so we hope to launch it soon yeah that's exciting that's exciting all right mark um give us the scoop you know where where hey, can we find you where can we find these terrific uh cards that you're putting out there everywhere i'm at now is at the dead cards um yeah. If you want to search online, I'm happy to say that <laughs> finally, if you do a Google search, I'll pop up at the top. Um, Did you get your issue with your login straightened out? It's fixed. All right. Everything everything now is the dead cards. I even bought deadcards.com because everybody's well, like, oh, dead it. cards. I'm like, sure. Yeah. See, dead I was going to do that. <laughs> I was totally going to do that just just to be an ass. I knew you were. That's why. That's why. Yeah. Because I, I was like, I don't know. I, I should have acted I on like. that. But uh, yeah, it's you know everything is deadcards.com, and we got a landing page for devils, so you can go yeah. to deadcards.com forward slash devils, and you'll you can see uh, track of our progress and look at the cards there. They can, can they order now, or or are we still waiting on that? Uh, right now. Uh, we did the first card, Percy, which is not really the first card. That was just the first released card. Yeah. Um, and, you know, since I'm new to the to the Devils group, um, you know, a lot of people don't know who I am yet. Uh, the suggestion there was, was that we release the first card so that their people can get their hands on it and see yeah. that it's actually a trading card. It's like, oh, this is, you know. So right. I can order that first card to the set and then... You know, we're working out the date and whatnot for the release. But yeah, October, like right? October. Yeah. It's gonna be the, the set's gonna be ready by Halloween. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that's uh that's true. I have to say this, I have to say this. Mark has been Mark has been everything and way more, and I mean way more than advertised. Mark is uh he's dialed back, but he is all business, wonderful at what he does. Him and Justin are are a tag team from hell, they're great. Um, tag team from heaven, I should say. Um, I like the if, first uh, one. <laughs> I, I, was, I went into this thing thinking, okay, well, that's fine. We'll have some merchandise. But, but they've, they're, they're just amazing. And, and, and Mark's one of the yeah. best business guys I've ever dealt with. I mean, can, can I take a second to just say, uh, to back that up? I mean, I, I, I love Mark so much. Working with him has been so much fun. I mean, I don't have a, emojis. <laughs> <laughs> 
but uh, we're kind of like besties now. And uh, <laughs> I, I've had so much fun and, I, and I'm really thankful that, uh, you know, he responded uh, positively to this idea and, and has let us run with it. And I, I mean, my hat's off to him. He is, he's a straight up professional. Uh, he says he's going to do something. He does it, you know, and, and by the time he said he was going to do it. And uh, that's admirable. <laughs> This is Appreciate like the that. exact opposite of how it used to be working with Mark. When we were both in the call center together. We would have meetings where everybody would go around and say things about Mark, but they were not like this. <laughs> that's, that's only when I wasn't there. <laughs> nah, Mark's the, Mark's the best. I'll give you guys, this, is, this one's for free. So when, when our kids were younger, Mark and I took them to see Thomas the Train. So I, I don't know, but that that's a, there's a story there. Wow. That could be, that could be a, that's a scary movie, but like a well, horror comedy. That's like an origins type story. Yeah. <laughs> but no, that's, you know, I mean, when these guys came to me with the idea, I mean, like I said, with, with Justin and his art, I just always liked his art, always loved his art. And then, you know, when they, pitch the idea of me working with with them I, i'm just i'm paranoid by nature so i'm like i don't know man i gotta check this out you know <laughs> i mean i'm you know because I, I mean i'm used to making things for the actors that's just what i've always done and i mean i really got to know these guys and i appreciate them bringing me on board it's been awesome for me yeah. you know getting to know jess jess is an awesome guy because you know devils was a great movie as far as i'm concerned i think everything hit you know everything was just on par and you know I, it, it's our goal to try to get this movie out there so people can see what's going on with this we've got great actors i mean everybody you see here i loved the performances from everybody yeah here. for sure you know always love bill of course or bill's like short you know, bill's right I've, I've heard enough but seriously you know always love bill love bill you know in this movie i love bill in the circus um you know i got to see veronica like i said you know coming in as mass grade i'm like and i'm like who's who is that <laughs> oh, you know, doesn't look the same. And, and David did an awesome job. Everybody said it, but you really did, David. You nailed that. Yeah. I'm just like, man, he's like, that's that's really good. So it, it's just been fun for me. It's fun for me to learn more about this side of it. You know, I've worked with the actors, but these guys are going to give me a chance to learn more about the internal workings. And and for me, for what I do, I feel like that's really important because yeah. I like to be able to hit on on all these highlights when I'm making my cards and whatnot. Cause you know, when I, when I make things, I try to make them mean something other than just putting something together and say, well, here's a card, you know, yeah. I try to make it mean something to whoever the person is that's on it. So I, you know, I really appreciate it. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. And that's, and that's the reason we like you so much, Mark. I mean, you do such a, a great job with that and it's such a, a, a fun, uh, project you know i i, I love it i love it well, so, I'm gifted, so, so i have to work harder at it than everybody that's else. right yeah come <laughs> on so the last thing um where can we find the movie you know where can people go to watch it well it just got picked up on tubi but it's it's been it's, it's close to everywhere uh it is on amazon prime uh it's the you still got to pay for it on amazon prime but you can get it free on tubi now yeah um it's on voodoo uh itunes xbox playstation um you can buy it uh buy physical copies i think at walmart now oh nice uh, target yeah walmart target uh amazon physical copy on amazon um but if you want to watch it for free to be just pick this up so it's a great place to go uh yeah. uk in uh, uh, october right we, united uk a lot of areas uk germany austria um um Netherlands, there's yeah, there's a, a lot, yeah, UK and uh, Germany are the big ones that are coming out in October. I mean, we got picked up from there a long time ago, but they're finally going to release in Halloween. That's awesome, oh, yeah, so that's exciting. The COVID thing, yeah, I didn't realize we had the uh, physical media because I'm with Bill, I kind of like I'm going to have to have a copy now. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> well, yeah, I didn't either, I didn't either, yeah, I'll have to go out and get uh, get my copy, but uh, but I loved it. Thank you guys so much. This has been yep. the best. You never know with panels, but you guys did pretty good. I put you at the top. What do you think, Mark? I think we did awesome. 
<laughs> <laughs> Some of us did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, hold on one second. I'm, I'm grading on the curve, so. Yeah, that's right. Well, that was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that. I agree. That was a, a, that good was a fun group. Yeah. It's a lot of good insight on the movie. Uh, oh yeah, it's so good. Uh, uh, and I just watched it today, so it's fresh. You know, I just just checked it out. I I did pretty good though. I didn't give away too much of the movie. You know, it, it's a good movie. It's it is. It, it was I mean, well. You know, if I got through it and liked it, it's pretty good because I'm squeamish. And I I did pretty that's well. True. I did pretty well with it. No, Bill was cracking me up because he is so intense. Yeah. Even even just you know by Zoom. He's so intense. <laughs> he does a good job. He does a great job. No, they were all uh, terrific. It's a it's a very well acted, uh, well written movie, and I agreed with um, you know, with Justin the the lighting and stuff and the shots really well done. I don't tend to pay attention to that stuff, but when he said it, I was like, oh, yeah, they were yeah, really good. Well, even down to the you know the beginning sequence with. The music in the background. I was like, man, that's just that's yeah. putting me back there a little bit. So yeah, it was good. You did good, man. That was a good group. You always yeah, they, bring good people. Well, these guys are awesome. You know, I'm always feel blessed to work with anybody that I get to work with. And yeah. you know, but these guys are just man. We gotta start getting you in some movies. Can't you get a cameo? I'm trying, man. You know, that's what this movie. That's the one thing this movie was missing was the masquerade needed that one, you know, Joe Schmo, Mark, That's that mean. she could have just killed and for no reason. Had nothing to do with anything. It was just, you know, to show that she's badass. Exactly. You know, and that could have been you. I can die well because, I, I mean, laying down, I got that down. Man. I mean, couldn't we have seen her walk into a convenience store? Maybe you're working the counter or something. Yeah, you know, I mean. And then you're dead. Just like that. I'm just saying. That's what. That's the next step. Forget this card business. This is just to get you in the films, man. That's right. I'm trying to use it as a, you know, as a tool to get me there, and it's just not happened yet. So maybe, it's going. Maybe to I'll get lucky. It's going. Maybe to maybe happen. maybe I can hint to Jess. To... Yeah, Jess needs to put you <laughs> in the the werewolf movie. I mean, I was going to tell him, you know, I I die pretty well, yeah. but. You know, but we, we got to get you in there, man. Well, I'm trying, man. <laughs> so on a serious note, um, so you're working on these cards. You've, you've still got your original dead cards. You know, what other cards do you have? And is there any others that you're working on? I mean, I'm always working on something different. Uh, yeah. You know, I do, I do a little bit of everything. I've got actors and directors and i've done you know a few things for a couple other directors um you know i've got cosplayers i've got fans yeah um but you know on top of that you know then having a contract to do a movie that's pretty cool um i've got a couple other people i've talked to about some things that i might be working out so i don't want to talk about them yet tell no, i think you need to talk about them right now Okay, so uh, no, you don't have to come. You that just means you have to come back. That's exciting some, though. I made some good contacts at yeah. you know at the last show, so pretty excited about that. Yeah, that's but awesome. you know, I just take it one day at a time. So I, I try my best and, and hustle at it as much as I can. But you know, well, it's it's you're doing a great job, man. I'm really proud of you because it's I knew I knew it was going to start taking off. It's such a good idea. Appreciate that. Yeah, man. Well, all right. Hang on a second. Let me uh, let me wrap us up. So, right. thank you everyone for joining us again this week. We definitely don't take that for granted. Uh, really appreciate that you keep coming back. I think now we're up in the two hundred and sixty or so total episodes. You can catch all of them on our website, MeisterCon.com, audio and video. Uh, we also have a YouTube channel that we're trying to increase the subscriptions on so if you want to help us out you can go to youtube meistercon pod and find us there as well so until next time mark you hang on don't go anywhere right. bye everybody see you
So I gave Mark a chance to tell us what he's doing and what he do. What he do? He said, "Well, I got stuff I don't want to talk about." It. As soon as I hit stop, he says, "Oh, I should have said this." So yeah. now we're back. We're back. So Mark can tell us what he's working on. What are you working on, Mark? Well, this is pretty important. So uh, everybody knows Oscar's red hat. So yeah, Oscar Rodriguez is the third. He has uh, he has been great to the dead cards. Been great to me. Uh, great person. Well, talk about him. a talented artist. I mean, oh yeah, he's amazing. You know, he's. I mean, he's got a lot going on. And he's always into something. And he and I started working pretty close together. Um, he has now merged his art and the things that he is is making because he makes a lot of different things. He does a lot of uh, sure. 3D printed art, and <clears throat> I mean, he's done a lot of you know, metals and and I mean, he just does all kinds of things. But he now has a uh, spot on my website. Uh, we've kind of merged that. Oh, so you can, you can now hop on uh, the Dead Cards website and you can find Oscar. He is he's right there at the top. I mean, you can navigate right to his stuff. And we're still building that, too, by the way. Um, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, we're going to have uh, he's going to have a shop there. He already does. And we're just going to start populating that with things because. We just, he, he's trying to get a, a web presence established and the guy does, yeah. I mean, he does an amazing job, man. The guy can, he can MC the hell out of anything. I mean, you know, you, you need to come to one of the shows. You need to oh, I plan to, I plan to, I didn't make it this year, but I plan to go. I mean, the stuff that, you know, he just, he does an amazing job. Yeah. So, you know, he, he approached me about that. So we're, we now have a, like I said, we have a shop for him, the dead cards. We've been working pretty close together, trying to build some groups up, trying to just trying to help people be aware of yeah. things that we have going on. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, all right. Now are we done, or is there anything? I, I think I think we're good now. So all right, I'm not going to go through my spiel again. They already heard it once. Yeah, well, I definitely wanted to make sure that I put that out there. Well, yeah, we don't want to leave Oscar out because Oscar is amazing. Oscar is amazing. He's amazing. So I'm, I'm glad we came back on. Okay, bye everybody. See you.